Hello once again everybody, Mental Fox here, welcome back to Fallout 76. I'm here at my camp, and I just spent a lot of time putting a bunch of stuff here in my stash box. Um, you can look here, I'm at 233 out of 400, which is pretty cool. I found that when I came here and I looked at my junk, uh, all of my scrap stuff was here, over here in my junk. So all the stuff that I've scrapped is now in my stash box, so I'm hoping that... Even, even though it's in the stash box, I can still make stuff or repair things. So let's see. Let's see if I can repair my weapons here. Uh, let's see. A hunting rifle. No, no. I want to... I don't want to modify it. I want to repair Okay, good. So I can repair it using the scrap that's in my stash box. So thank goodness I don't actually have to have this stuff on my person to do this. Uh, you can see uh, these are the weapons I'm carrying right now. I put away that 10 millimeter thing because I'm out of ammo for it. So I'm going to stick around with the hardened sniper, sniper rifle, uh, the hunting rifle, and the Somerset Special. These are all pretty similar, really, uh, but as a matter of fact, these two use the same ammo now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll get a different weapon out of here. I don't need two weapons that use the same ammo, right? Weapons. Um, let's, let's use the sniper rifle, put the hunting rifle away. Those are all the weapons I've got. <laughs> I scrapped all my other weapons. <laughs> so, I either have a su sniper rifle or a Somerset Special. Those are my two weapons that I've got. Well, we'll just have to pick up more. <laughs> and I'm sure we will at some point. Um, maybe a dangerous thing to do, but uh, that's how I'm going to wing it, man. I'm feeling lucky. What can I say? So, I repaired that stuff. And actually, let's see. No, not scrap. Sorry. Uh, repair... Let me repair my uh, armor. I'm wearing this trail warden thing here. Uh, ooh, I could do a uh, lighter build. Huh. Lighter build. Oh, it looks like I already have lighter build on it. What the heck? Yeah, okay, so I've already got lighter build on it. I'm thinking. I guess, because that's what has a little mark by it. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. Uh, and repair it. Nope. Repair this. So, can I modify my right arm? Well, I can make it a lighter build. No, I can't. I don't know how to do that. Metal left arm. Whoops. Go in here, standard. Yeah, who cares? Uh, pocketed. It's already pocketed. And painted. And I can't seem to do anything with this or any of the other stuff I've got. Okay. Uh, one thing I should be able to do, though, is if I really wanted to, I could craft a weapon. Uh, but I don't really feel like I have anything all that great. I could either make a short hunting rifle or a pipe gun. And pipe guns, I could craft a pipe revolver, but I already have a revolver. Um, so I don't really feel like I need that. So we'll just see if I pick up something better. Um... You know, might be a dumb idea, but, uh, you know, I'm full of them. What can I say? As far as things to craft, let's see if I could take anything to craft on the road. I could make some boiled water. And uh, now I can make some carrot flower nectar or blackberry juice. Blackberry juice. Well, both of these give me... Yeah, this will give me a little bit of AP regen. Food, I should be able to craft some grilled rad roach. Thanks to those rad roaches I killed a while back. And some poached angler. Screw you, anglers. Looks delicious, though, doesn't it? The picture up at the top. I thought it did. Nice filet. Okay. So, here we are again in the world of Fallout 76. My little camp is here. And there's blood all over my sleeping bag. Let's do it, man. Let's walk over here and see how close we can get to this whatever this is. And if I die, well, then I die. I'm not really carrying all that much stuff on me. Um... But, uh, here's an interesting little place here. Ooh, a bear trap. Let's trigger that before I stick my own foot in it. Oh, look at this. A toolbox. Hmm. Nothing in it. Oh, he's got, uh, stim pack and dirty water, thank goodness. I feel like I need to get out of this part of the world the reason I say that is because, you know, I need to 
I don't think I can show it here, but I need to craft some healing items, some healing salve. In order to do that, I need some regular old soot flower. But all I'm finding up here is uh, toxic soot flower, and I'm pretty sure at some point in the game I saw regular old soot flower, non-toxic variety. So I'm wondering if the only reason I'm finding the toxic kind up here is because it's irradiated. I don't know. Although this area doesn't look bad, so I'm going to see if I... I'm trying to keep an eye out for some t some soot flower here, in this area. Huh. What am I looking at here? I don't see anything, but we're getting pretty close to whatever this is on the my compass. Oh, what's this? A bunch of stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, I saw a red scorpion. We've discovered Knife Edge. Oh, I think this is a raider camp. It's like got us. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. I've seen it. We're out of here. We're gonna run. We're gonna run away. Um, I am not ready to fight those red scorpions, so we're gonna take off and run into a tree. <laughs> Promptly run into a tree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I don't know what that symbol means, but it, now that I see it, it's a skull within a chain. So, that looks pretty scary to me. And I'm still pretty wimpy, I feel like. So, we're just going to let that place be. Um, as far as what we want to do now... Uh, I mean, we're way up here at this part of the map. Camp is way up here. We look at the map and we'll see that there's not really a whole lot of stuff going on. Oh, yay, there's that event that was so wonderful last time. This place is called Knife Edge. What do you say we get on this road here and we just follow it south to this? And we just do a little bit of exploring. What do you say? How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. So I'm going to set a marker here. And I'm going to go towards... I'm going to go towards my marker... And, uh, oh geez, an angler. I did not want to face an angler. I just don't. They're just a real pain in the butt. So I'm going to try to skirt past this angler here. If I could manage to hop over this railing. Okay. Alright, no, I don't want to join the event. I, I tried it once before and it was lame. So I'm recording this episode right on the heels of the other episodes, so... If you have already responded and told me what this uh, event means or how it works, uh, I have I haven't seen your comment yet because it's uh, you have left your comment in the future or the past or something. I saw an angler over there to the right. Uh, hopefully, we won't have to face that guy. I'm gonna try to get past him as well. These anglers are a real pain in the butt. Oh crap! He's gonna see me. Caution, it says. He may have already seen me. Danger, it says. Oh, oh, that, the, oh crap. Oh, I, do, I do not know if it's possible for me to run away from this thing. I don't know. They're pretty fast. Let's see if I can get away from him. Get my action points back here. Hopefully he has given up the chase. The music would suggest otherwise. I think I still hear movement. Oh, quest started. Buried with honor. Repton's mayor here. We have a catastrophe on our hands. The very expensive cricket sport renovation has hit a snag. I need that attraction to open without any bad press. Ooh. Apparently they found the remains of a Civil War soldier during construction. Well, probably from the Civil War. It's from some war, that much I'm certain of. Let's just all agree it's a Civil War soldier, shall we? Anywho, someone needs to give those remains a nice anonymous burial in Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. And by someone, I mean you. Okay. So we're supposed to talk to a curator. And uh, it's looking like it's that curator back there. Uh, the one... Um, let's see here. Let's read this real quick. Not that. Events. Oh, no events. What the heck? Oh, it's a daily event. Okay, Grafton's Mayor says that the curator at Pickett 
Prickett's Fort needs my help. Uh, okay, so this event has nothing to do with where I am now. This event is up here, so I am not going to go back up there. We're instead going to go this way and see what the heck this is here. Oh, 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 golly gee. Diseased Yaogwai, okay. I, uh, I don't need to be hanging out with that right now. Um, oh, geez. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, I got him. Look at this guy. Look at his skin. Ooh, Wonder Glue. Oh, what are these? Aster. Uh, I need to favorite some weapons is what I need to do. Okay, so I've got my Somerset Special there, binoculars there. Here I'm going to put my uh, sniper rifle. There we go. I do not want to get that thing's attention. Really don't. Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But I have found a place here. Oh boy. Level 26 diseased Yaogwai. If I could get in this building and up on the second floor, I may try to pick him off from up there. So I'm running around. Look at this. I'm not touching my controls. Here we go again. Um, running around with two weapons. Oh, for crying out loud, I didn't even hit him. Two weapons that are kind of like far ranged weapons, so not the best loadout. Let's face it. Oh, we got a little bit of music playing here. Let's see if I can get in here and turn this off real quick. And there we go. It's off. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Oh, I think I actually killed him without him touching me, which is a nice change of pace. Another butter churn. Uh, T45 targeting HUD. I'm not even going to pick that up because I can't use it yet, I don't believe. Get some mac and cheese here. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff. So it's kind of fun being a little selective, I must say. Black powder rifle... Union uniform. Um, oh, I'm thirsty. Hold on a minute. Let me get something to drink here. I could drink these very heavy Nuka Colas. Okay, cool. Uh, black powder pistol. Plan for handmade rifle short NV scope, whatever that means. First aid. Let's unlock this first aid box. I could always use some first aid, that's for sure. Stimpak boiled water. Both very, very good things. Civil War era suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh! Nasty thing. Um, isn't there a button that opens these up? Oh boy, that is one powerful... Oh, here we go. Powerful display. I want this gold pocket watch. Another black powder pistol. Uh, so, when I was uh, putting a bunch of stuff in my stash, I saw that I had a bunch of like gold ore and lead ore and copper ore. I just put it in my stash. I wasn't really sure what to do with it. Yeah, I could put that stuff on if I wanted to, but I really like my space outfits. There's a lot of these porta diners around here. Uh, some beers in there. I'm not interested in the beers. I'm not gonna open that door because that'll take me out to where that Yagwai is. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. That's just how I say it. So let's go upstairs here. Another nasty rat roach. Man, I'd really like to take one hit at those and kill them. Boy, a lot of these black powder weapons. Okay, take us out. Nice little balcony here, pretty cool. Got some cannons over there. Don't see any enemies walking around and my uh, vats isn't picking up on anything. I hear movement? 
Oh, maybe it was just that Yagwai walking around over there. Maybe that's what I heard. I want to turn this daily off, just because uh, I have no intention of doing it. Press this button here. Knife. Uniform. Let's pick this up. Let's pick up this rifle. And uh, use it to shoot the Algoi. <laughs> what do you say? Let's do that. That'll be fun, right? Uh, so let me switch to it. Weapons. Black power. Oh, man, I can't use it. I'm not high enough level. Well, poo. Oh, well, that was going to be fun. I was going to have all kinds of fun with that. We were going to have good old times. So we're going to just drop that. Oh, it puts it in a paper bag. All right, that's one fancy paper bag. So, we've got a diseased Yagwai there. Did a small amount of damage. He doesn't seem to care. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, Yagwai? Huh? You're just going to stand there while I pick you off. There ain't nothing you can do about it until I run out of ammo, which I don't think I'm going to. So, I don't mind taking the time to do this. It's cheap, I know. Shut this door. I mean, it is cheap. But he's level 26 for crying out loud, and I do not need him sneaking up on me. And I like using a sniper rifle. And if he came closer, I would throw a grenade at him or something, but he's not going to do that. I mean, this is disappointing. Not just in this game, but in most games. You can, you can do this with an enemy with a sniper rifle, because... I guess the AI just isn't smart enough to realize what's going on, you know? A smart AI, he would either come at me, bro... Or, he would run the freak away, which is probably the smarter thing to do, you know? Hey, somebody's shooting at me. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. But no, he just stands there and takes it. So, <laughs> pretty silly, really. But, you know, if this is what the game offers me, I'm gonna take advantage of it. So, I'm actually uh, doing the hold my breath thing there. This is not holding my breath. And... This is me holding my breath. So it really does make a big difference with these uh, long weapons and binoculars. Oh, okay, well, um, hmm, okay. I just threw a grenade, interesting. Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hmm, all right, well, whatever, I threw a grenade. Apparently this button that holds my breath is the same one that throws grenades, and since I wasn't zoomed in with this thing, uh, the game thought I wanted to throw a... throw a grenade. So this here is interesting. I wonder if that thing is alive. Didn't act like it. And then uh, there's a body here. Oh, there's some flowers over the soot flowers over there, but this area may still be the irradiated area. Uh, you may notice that uh, when I'm holding my breath, my action points go down. See, look at my action points. Watch them go down. See, they go down when I'm holding my breath. So you can hold your, hold your breath indefinitely. All right, well, I got him. <laughs> he falls over dramatically. Yeah, um... I don't know. The, uh, the opportunity was there, so I took advantage of it. I haven't looked on this side yet. Hopefully there's no enemies out there. Oh, look at this. Huh, a raider corpse. Boy, he's all burned. Hmm. 
I haven't come across any raiders yet, and it would almost be kind of refreshing to come across other human beings, even if they are trying to kill me. What's up? Oh, 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 oh. All right. Yeah, let's use this. Switch to one, please. Oh, he got me, but I didn't get him. Bear-proof trash can. I love that that's a thing. Ooh, corn. Toilet corn. Delicious. Logs. Well, what's up, buddy? He's just, he's just hanging. He's just chilling. Meat, hide, loose spring, waste, acid, and a leather left leg that I'm not even going to bother to pick up. Feral ghoul roamer that's dead here. Raider corpse. He's got a frag grenade on him. Interesting. Okay. Not sure what to make of that. Car. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So this car... This car has a health bar, but that uh, truck doesn't. So, I wonder, let me see here. I can't, I can't vats it, if you were curious. I can't, I can't vats it. Um, throw a grenade at it. And it did zero damage to it. So, go figure. I don't know why that car has a health bar. It doesn't seem like I can do anything to it. Just wasted a grenade. Well, let's go check out the cemetery. Pay our respects. Oh no, do you think ghouls are going to like come up out of the ground here? Let me get my uh, machete ready. <laughs> that rhymes machete ready. I'm not sure what I need Aster for, but I'm picking it. Well, I can't read these. Just too bad. Man, it doesn't look like I can interact with these uh, cannons at all, which is also too bad. I guess it's just fine, because I had some. I had picked up some cannonballs at the fort, but I put them in my stash because they're heavy, so I wouldn't be able to loaded anyway. Okay. Well, there you go. There's the cemetery. So, obviously this is where we would bury the body if we were to do that daily event. Um... I don't know. You want to do it? You want to do the daily event? I mean, they're only daily. Daily events. Talk to the curator. Come on, let's do it. Let's go up here. You talked me into it. <laughs> I wonder how many of you were like, yeah, man, do it. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you were like, yeah, do the daily event, or if you were like, nah, man, don't run, up, don't run back up there to do that. There's an angler there. I am curious to know what you think. But, you know, I'm here to play the game and experience it, and um, these daily events are part of the experience, so uh, let's go experience it. So the drawback is is that I have to backtrack a bit, and the drawback is is that there's probably going to be an angler here, and there he is, and I wonder if I can pick him off from a distance. Uh, I was going to see if I could climb up here somehow and pick him off from here, but I don't... Oh, uh, I don't think I can. I was kind of hoping that I could get to a place where he couldn't get to me, you know? But I could just pick him off just like I did the Yagwai. It's weird, there's like a green glow there. Let's see here. No, this is looking... Well, let's see. Come on, get up there. Hmm, the game's not letting me uh, climb up there. Darn it, that's a shame, because... Oh, there we go, I'm up here. Okay. All right, can I see him from here? <laughs> well, Vats isn't seeing him. Where did he go? I was totally going to pick him off from up here. 
thought he was by those cars, wasn't he? Um, oh, there he is. Well, I did a minute amount of... You know, the problem is, is that even though he can't get up here, he could still shoot at me, can't he? And he already is. Look at him hiding behind that tree. Maybe these guys aren't so dumb after all. Oh, where's he going? Where the heck is he going? <laughs> uh, dude, where are you going, man? Whoa, what the? <gasps> how the hell did he get up there? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> well, he, he, he showed me. Well, let's see, maybe, uh... No, he hurt me, I think. It'd be funny if, like, he'd, he'd lose track of me and I could just get past him here. That's funny, man. Alright. Oh, oh, it said danger. Oh, crap. Damn it, there's another one. Shoot. Okay, I don't want to join this event. I really don't. I just want to go up here and talk to the curator without... alerting the... angler. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? Preservation team. Uh -huh, I am, yeah. I have a real problem here. Mm -hmm. While building new outhouses, we discovered the remains of a Civil War Union soldier. Oh my. Although the body is highly irradiated and strangely fresh, it's almost like it died 20 years ago instead of 200. Hmm. Now I need you to properly inter the body in the Philippi Cemetery. And it needs to be done before our next reenactment. Okay. <laughs> so, you can see in the upper right-hand corner. Oh. Need a proper burial. Although they seem awfully fresh for a Civil War soldier. Okay. Uh, so you can see in the upper right-hand corner there, it's still showing score Union 5, Confederates 4. Uh, that's because I didn't exit the game before playing this episode. I played the last episode and then I just went right into this one. So, we're still in that weird state where this event, this event is never going to end. Right. Bodies shouldn't be popping up just anywhere. It's almost like a lot of people died recently. So I'm going to turn this event off. And so now wherever I need to go is up here. So let's go up here and get these remains. It says they're highly irradiated, so I might not be able to pick them up anyway. Gosh darn it, there's another angler up there. Gotta try to avoid those guys. There's that dead angler from before, although it's... Get off my screen. Yeah, okay. Thought it was acting like that angler was still alive. Okay, he is... Right here. Okay, here he is. Soldier's remains. Take. We said he was highly irradiated, so I'm wondering if when I pick him up, I'm start going to start to get radiation damage. Man, did I not come in here? Thinking that I I missed this room. No, I don't know. I well, I think I I think I missed this room when I was here before. Oh well, whatever. Soldiers remains. Well, I'm not getting irradiated, so that's cool. Put the remains in open grave, and I think we saw that open grave when we were in that cemetery just a moment ago. Wow, it's in that direction. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, our goal is to get back to the cemetery without alerting any... Oh, the, did you see that? He was there for a second and then he disappeared. Did you see it? I hope you saw it. Just for a split second, the angler was there. As a matter of fact, you can kind of still see the, his glow, that yellow glow he has. So I'm wondering if he's going to... Yep, sure enough, there he is. He popped up again. And this angler has full health, so either the, the angler resets his health when I leave his area or... Um, it's a different angler. So I'm going to try to avoid him entirely. 
but I don't think that uh, I'm going to do it because he is looking in this direction, kind of. You can hear I'm, the clock ticking because I'm exiting the events area. Where'd he go? Okay. Think I'm okay? Still hidden. Hopefully that other one is gone now. The one that climbed up there. The one that thought he was so clever. Actually, yeah, that's I guess that's where he was, huh? Alright, let's make a run for it here. I'll just run right through these tree branches. Not a problem. I think I'm good. Now I'm really glad I took out that Yaguai, because that may have made this difficult. Although I've skirted past him before, I probably could have done it again. So this car down here that has a health bar. I was hoping I'd be able to cause a nuclear explosion. You know, they do that, so they did in previous, fall, previous Fallout games, but um, I threw a grenade at it and nothing happened. Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing back alive? I don't know, I hate to use a bullet on a feral goal. We'll just hit him with this. Surprise! I like your outfit, though. Okay. I was waiting for him to come running out of that house. Place the body. Okay. Soldier's remains removed. Bury the remains, okay? Fill. Okay. Um... Okay, so, um, pressing the button here. You must equip a shovel. Okay, well, makes sense. Um, did we see a shovel in here? We may have seen a shovel in here. Let's go look. Did I see a shovel? Shovel is like something that I would like look at and ignore, you know? So just because I'm not interested in picking up a shovel, so... To keep my eyes peeled. I mean, surely the game put a shovel around here, right? I don't have to go looking all over the entire... game world looking for a shovel. Thought there might be one down here. But it's looking like there's not, so... Uh, there's a wheelbarrow here. No shovel. Well, let's look, keep looking in the building since I'm here, and then... If I don't find it, we'll go look in the cemetery. See if there's one out there. There's a broom. Can I use a broom? I can't pick it up anyway. Look at that noise, you hear that? It sounded like um like the flames underneath of like a Mr. Handy. That's what I thought I heard. Let's see if I see a shovel over there, I don't don't see one. Well, not seeing a shovel anywhere around here. So, maybe there's one next to one of these graves? What? You must equip a shovel. Alright, well, where's a boy to find a shovel around here? Oh, look at this. I didn't see this before. Hi, I'm Dick Shea. Hey, Dick, what's up? It's my privilege to welcome you to Philippi Battlefield Cemetery, one of the region's most important 
historic landmarks. This landmark is brought to you by Blamco brand mac and cheese, America's favorite mac and cheese dish. Kids love Blamco. This monument marks the first organized land action of the Civil War on June 3rd, 1861. The Union had planned a pre-dawn assault on the Confederates. The weather that morning was rainy. Union attackers began firing their artillery, which awakened the Confederates from their slumber. The Confederates retreated about 45 miles to the south. Boy, I bet those Yanks wished they had some warm, delicious Blamco mac and cheese after that. Be sure to check out the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery Museum and see important relics that were used in the battle. This is Dick Shale, signing off. And then, you can kind of read this, many great American soldiers, both of the North and South, died at this location. The Battle of Philippi formed part of the Western, or the, that does say Western, doesn't it? Yeah. Western Virginia campaign of the American Civil War. That's because this was before West Virginia was a state, I imagine. And was fought in and around Philippi, Virginia, now West Virginia. There you go. Uh... And I can't read what it says. Something Union victory. It was the first organized land action of the war. Though generally viewed as a skirmish rather than a battle. Okay. Well, there you have it. Well. Fortunately, I ain't got no shovel. Uh, so I can't... Um, Can't can't bury the can't bury the remains. I mean, unless I already picked up a shovel, but I don't think I did. And if I did, where would it be? It would be a weapon. I mean, miscellaneous, no. And it's not it's not junk. So kind of not really sure what the game expects me to do here. I mean. How often do you see a shovel in the game? I mean, I see them occasionally, but... To have seen one, and either have picked it up and have it on you, or seen one and remembered where it was, or just have one in your stash, I don't know, seems pretty slim to me. So, I don't know how much more time I'm going to spend <laughs> trying to find a stinking shovel. Um... I mean, there's a hole there, so, you know, where's the shovel that dug that hole? Um, yeah, buddy. So I looked in here already. Um, I did not look in these vehicles. I mean, I guess there's a possibility that... There's a shovel in the trunk of one of these vehicles. So I'm going to look. Nope. Can I use a raider corpse? Here's some <clears throat> soot flowers. I that Yaguai body has changed. Nope, still toxic. Not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. But I keep picking them up. Well, I ain't got no shovel. No, sir, I don't. Well, I guess I'll move on. It's kind of a bummer. We are going to uh, continue on this road. Oops, and... Um, Oh, there's this thing here, up to my left, which I think is way up on top here. I can't see it from here. And then, uh, straight ahead here is... Talk about it. This... That's not really straight ahead, but, uh... This thing over here, whatever the heck this is. So we can go to this. Can't bury the remains, sorry.
getting quiet. Is this... Is this where I'm going? What's this? Silver vein. Sure, I'll mine that. Whatever. I don't know what I want silver for, but I have some. What's this? Oh, more rotated fern. Okay, we're getting close to my marker here. Okay. What am I looking for here? all lit up down here. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So if we look at the map... Whatever I'm looking for is right around here. seeing anything. Hmm. Well, whatever... Whatever it is I'm looking for is... right around here. I mean, I guess it's possible that it's actually up on that cliff there. But, uh, this map makes me think that it's not. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Except blackberry. I could harvest some blackberry there. Yeah, I am, um, don't know. My vats doesn't see anything. Hmm. Well, okay then. Um. Whatever it is, I'm not seeing it. Oh! A beaver. <laughs> I don't think that's what I came here to see. I don't think I came here to see a beaver. <laughs> uh, I'm curious about the beaver, though. Is he going to attack me? What's up, buddy? What's up, friendly beaver? Boy, he does not look happy, does he? He looks like he could do some damage with that spiky tail, huh? Well, um... It's time for me to end this episode anyway, so I'm just going to end it here. We're just going to kind of, like, hang out underneath of this thing. You know, just nice and quiet. Just kind of hang out here. And, uh... Next episode, we come back, and, uh... Not really sure what we'll do. Um... I mean, there's still stuff to explore. Uh, if we look at our, uh, quests... Uh, our main quest is to, uh... Study Dr. Hudson's research, and if I turn that on and look at it on the map... 
um, we'll see that, if I remember correctly, it's way down here. So I may just start going in that direction, I guess. Go here and see what this is. Um, I kind of hate to go back through here. Sight Bravo. Because we've already been through here and it's just filled with all kinds of events. So I don't know, man. I don't know what we'll do next time. Oh, somebody wanted over there. Level 66, dude. We'll stay away from him. But yeah, make sure you come back next time because, golly gee, something cool might happen. <laughs> Thanks for joining me again, everybody. I sure do hope I do see you again in the next episode.